Hey everyone, it's Kevin with Halo Power. Hope you're having a great day. So today we are talking about the infamous Federal Pacific Federal Pioneer panels. They are dangerous and we thought it was important to do some independent testing and show you why uh, I'm so passionate about getting these panels out of service. But today we're going to show you the two problems that we find uh, the most distressing about these Federal Pacific Federal Pioneer panels. They tend to not trip when the circuit breakers are overloaded and in some cases uh, the breakers won't trip properly if the uh, circuit experience is a dead short, short to ground and uh, we're going to show you how that took place today with our testing video. So sit back, enjoy, and hope you learn something from it. And if you do have one of these Federal Pacific or Federal Pioneer panels in your home, reach out to us for a free quote on replacing these panels, and we'd be happy to make your home a safer place. Well, afternoon, everyone. It's Kevin Stay along with Mike Barrage. Halo Power Solutions, and uh, today we've got something really cool, kind of scary. We've got an old Federal Pioneer panel. Actually, this is a, a Federal Pacific panel. So these are the worst of the worst when it comes to Federal panels. Those of you that know me know I've talked about these panels many times. Nothing good to say about them. Today we're going to show you why they are so dangerous. Okay, so what we've got is three of your typical uh, space heaters. A lot of you probably have them in, you have them in your home. Use them to keep the basement warm. They work great. Uh, they draw a lot of power. Typically one of these heaters will take up the uh, power consumption of 115 amp circuit. Typically they're a 1500 watt heater and you don't want to plug more than one into a outlet. And usually if you've got more than one, um, they will trip the breaker. That's what it's supposed to do. So let's show you what happens here. We've got three plugged in right now. We're gonna power it up. Now, this panel we got set up is purely for display. If your panel look like, looks like this in your home, make sure you give us a call. We'll come and fix that for you. So let's turn this breaker on. We get our heaters powered up. And if you zoom in your Toby, you can see right now, we're pulling about, about 24, 24 amps. Now this is a 15 amp breaker, so it's designed to trip uh, when that 15 amp breaker gets overloaded. Typically they should actually trip when it sees over 12 amps. But right now we're running at 23 amps. Mike's timing it for about half a minute in. And uh, you'll see what should happen when you have a modern panel and you've got an uh, overload situation like this with electric heaters. We're at the 36, 37 seconds. There we go. <laughs> One minute, 11 seconds in the breaker trip. So the breaker did what it was supposed to do. It was seeing 23 amps, 15 amp breaker. It starts to heat up, the wire heats up, the breaker detects it, boom. Shuts the circuit off, everything's safe. Now, uh, we've got this old Federal Pacific panel up here. We took this out of a house in Sherwood Park about a month ago and hung on to it just for testing purposes. So we're going to plug in these heaters into the old federal panel and run the same amount of power through it and we'll see what happens. So the timer's going and we're holding it about 24 amps. So <clears throat> I'll show you, these are a couple of plugs we actually pulled out of a home that uh, was in a situation just like this. Old federal panel, they were plugging in electric heaters and everything was getting so hot, I don't know if you can see this, it literally melted the receptacle, like deformed it. This is some of the worst I've ever seen. There were two of them. This is the worst one right here. Okay, so we are, well, we're just over five minutes. And uh, by now this breaker absolutely should have tripped. Still holding at 23.6 amps. Remember, it's a 15 amp breaker. There's no way this breaker should be holding at this type of current, but it is, it is. The wires, these wires, imagine this wire in your wall. It's getting hot, it's overloaded. The wire's rated for 15 amps. The receptacle's rated for 15 amps. The breaker's rated for 15 amps. But here we are, 
six minutes in, hold and steady at 23.7 amps. Mike, what do you got? 9 minutes. 9 minutes. Actually what we'll do is we'll put a little bit more current on it and we'll turn one of these heaters up. You want to come in your toe, you just keep, a look, keep an eye on the amp meter. Okay, so we turned it up. We're pulling about 27, 28 amps now. My goodness, it should trip by now. Finally. So there you have it. So if you're looking to do a little bit of research on your own about the Federal Pacific and Federal Pioneer panels, I encourage you to Google them. Uh, look it up online. You're going to see that the problem with these breakers is that when they overload, they don't trip. The other problem is, is you can have a situation where you've got a short or a ground, a fault to ground, short to ground, and again, the breaker won't trip. We've actually seen uh, situations where there's been a nail or a screw that was pierced right through a cable in the wall uh, and of course you wouldn't know this because the cable is buried in the wall that screw went right through the wire and actually melted the screw and didn't trip the breaker uh, when the carpenters opened up the wall we actually found the 2x4 was charred black right up where the wire was going because the wire it heated up so much it was actually burning in the wall so I've got the wall opened up where the damaged cable was going up to the attic. You can see right there that uh, was the uh, where the screw went in. And look at these cables. Burnt to a crisp. Literally just burnt to the point that when I, uh, when I reached in and tugged on it, it broke right in half. And I don't know if you can see it in there or not, but... Uh, the wood itself is actually charred. It was uh, it was burning in the wall. You know, keep this in mind. If you, if you have one of these Federal Pioneer panels or Federal Pacific panels in your home, uh, you could be doing some renovation work. You could hit a cable, and you may not even know that uh, you've got you got the start of a fire starting in your wall. Okay, we're back. We're going to show you something really cool, really scary. Don't try this at home, guys. We are professionals. As you can see. So what we're going to do is simulate a situation where you've got a uh, a sparking arcing fault, a, sh a, a short. Mike's basically going to touch the hot and neutral wire together to simulate a short in a circuit, and it should trip the breaker right away. So Mike, you got those wires. He's got his thousand volt rated gloves on. He's got the shield on. Turn around this way so everyone can see the spark. I'm going to plug it in and I'll stand back. You are live, let me stand over here and go ahead. Boom. Okay, exactly what was supposed to happen, the breaker tripped, no worries. All right, now let's try plugging it into the federal pan. We'll plug it in. Can you power it up there? And uh, let's try it again. Wow. Okay, so come in here, Toby. Let's show what happened. There's the breaker, the 15 amp breaker. Mike shorted out the wiring. Look what it did. It tripped the 60 in our panel here. So it just goes to show you that these breakers, you can have a situation where you've got a dead short like that, and the breaker won't trip, but it actually took out the main breaker feeding this old federal panel. I think we, you know, like we've shown two very, very scary characteristics of these old federal panels. They don't trip when they're overloaded, and you've got a situation where you've got a short, and the 15 amp breaker won't trip. So, if you have a Federal Pacific, Federal Pioneer panel in your home, please get a certified contractor out there to give you a quote on replacing the panel. We don't repair these, we don't replace breakers. We take them out of your home and we send them to the landfill because that's where they belong. Woo, doggy! That's what happens when you put 208 volts on a chunk of Monday or sausage, things start burning. <laughs> 